What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can replace a DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation in Horizon Forbidden West so you can use frame generation on graphics cards that aren't RTX 40 series. For example, RTX 30, 20. As for whether this will work for AMD and the rest, you'll need to select DLSS in game, and there are a few workarounds by running a registry file. You may be able to get rid of this limitation and select the option on AMD graphics cards and the like, but I'm not entirely sure. If you're willing to test it, do let me know in the comments down below. All right, so without further ado, how do we use frame generation on something that's not an RTX 40 series graphics card in Horizon Forbidden West? Well, as seen in a previous video of mine, I'll be showing you the DLSS to FSR 3 replacement mod, which is available and usable in Horizon Forbidden West. In fact, there's another mod linked on Nexus Mods that does the same thing. It's just a re-upload of this mod here. All right, so let's begin. What we need to do is head across to the link in the description down below and here on the Files tab, simply choose Manual Download over here next to this normal version at the very top. You'll need to be signed in in order to see this page, but when you make an account and do sign in, you can click Slow Download to download the file for free. Then open it up and inside of here, you'll see a few files. NVIDIA Disable and Restore, so you should hopefully be able to choose DLSS without NVIDIA graphics cards and of course the replacement for DLSS to FSR. What we need to do with these files is drop them into the game's installed folder right next to the main program. So in Steam, right click the game, manage and choose browse local files. This will take you across to where it's installed. In here, you should see Horizon Forbidden West.exe. Simply drag the DLL files out of the zip and drop them in here. And on top of this, you'll drag out the .registry files here too. Then closing the zip, the registry files, you'll need to run disable NVIDIA signature check and choose yes, okay, in order to use this hopefully on graphics cards that aren't NVIDIA. I'm not entirely too sure, but this mod should definitely work for RTX 20 and 30 series cards. As for AMD and the rest, do let me know down below as I don't have the ability to test that. Once you've done so, You'll also need to make sure that you have one specific Windows setting enabled. Hit start and type in graphics, where we'll open graphics settings. Inside of here, if you see the display tab, scroll all the way down and choose graphics here. Then on this page, change default graphic settings at the very top or advanced or something that takes you along to this screen here where we're looking for HAGS, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Make sure that this is turned on and restart your system if you just turned it on now. Now that HAGS is enabled and our mod is installed, we should be able to open up the game and use DLSS on more than just once default. So we'll click play, fire up the game. All right, now that we're back in game, if your settings are already in the correct place, you may notice higher FPS, but for me, they're not. So pause the game, head into settings and across to the display tab, where in here, we'll make sure that VSync is off, reflex low latency is on, and upscaling method is DLSS. With all of these options selected, you should now see DLSS frame generation can be enabled. Previously, this was blocked out for us as we don't have an RTX 40 series card, but now the game seems to allow me to. So I'll apply changes, yes, and now you should immediately see a huge boost in performance. I jumped from 80 something frames to 140. So that's pretty much double the FPS and that's that. The frame generation mod is now working as expected. If you have an RTX 20 or 30 series graphics card, whereas before it was limited to only 40. Unfortunately, even though it is just a mod that replaces DLSS with FSR, it is still limited into needing an NVIDIA graphics card. That's a little bit sad, but I don't think as many people own 40 series as they do 20 and 30 put together. So assuming you're within that group, you should now have frame generation enabled in your game and pretty much doubling your FPS no matter what you are. That's it. The mod's fully installed and working. That being said, as for whether this works for AMD and the rest, I'm not entirely sure. If you're willing to test, do let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you're curious, the answer may already be there. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.